Greetings family and welcome to African Math. Today we're going to learn about counting. Counting is very important. When learning mathematics, one of the first things we must learn to do is count. Did you know people have different ways of counting all over the world? Kenya is a country in East Africa. Kenyan people speak an ancient language called Swahili. The structure of the Swahili counting system is a little different than the counting system we use in English. The Swahili counting system makes learning math much easier. Relax, we're not going to be teaching you African math in Swahili, but we are going to borrow the Swahili counting structure and translate it into English. First, we're going to count to 10 in Swahili. Ready? Moja, Mbili, Tatu, Nne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, Tisa, Kumi. Listen close as I count to Kumi again. Moja, Mbili, Tatu, Nne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, Tisa, Kumi. Now we're going to count to 20. The name for 20 is Ishirini. Ready? Moja, Mbili, Tatu, Nne, Tano, Sita, Saba, Nane, Tisa, Kumi. Kumi na moja. Kumi na mbili. Kumi na tatu. Kumi na nne. Kumi na tano. Kumi na sita. Kumi na saba. Kumi na nane. Kumi na tisa. Ishirini! Kumina Moja literally translates into 10 and 1. Kumina Mbili means 10 and 2. Can anyone guess what Kumina Tatu means? If you guessed 10 and 3, you are correct. Now, let's count in English Swahili style. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten one, ten two, ten three, ten four, ten five, ten six, ten seven, ten eight. Ten nine, twenty. Brilliant African scholars recognized these math concepts thousands of years ago and placed them in the Swahili counting structure. Thank you for joining us today. I really enjoy counting with you. Remember, when you count, to always count in English Swahili style. Ten one, ten two, ten three, ten four, 